is so important. I uh, uh, was in, I took a, a group of uh, my employees up to uh, Las Vegas uh, for a, a uh, training and uh, we we picked a, what we thought was a pretty good area of uh, Las Vegas. It was, um, I would say it was probably, it wasn't four star, but it was a three star uh, hotel. And as we were uh, unloading our uh, bags and taking them to the, the um, to our rooms, I heard a woman screaming. Um, and I, uh, I I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> um, some of the employees uh, were a little bit callous, and they're like, "Ah, oh, women screaming! Don't they know people are trying to, you know?" And I said, "Hey, guys, that is not just a random scream." I said, "And besides, shame on you for 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 saying that." Um, and so um, I started wandering around, uh, running around, actually trying to find where this woman was screaming, and it, and uh, it was. There were a lot of it was bouncing, uh, mm -hmm. they, and so when I would get to one area, I couldn't find where where the noise was coming from. Uh, finally, recognized it was coming from the woman's bathroom inside of the hotel. Um, and uh, when we, uh, uh, we so of course we figured somebody screaming to that level, it's okay to go in the women's bathroom. We burst the door open, and there was a woman who was being beat nearly to death inside of a stall, um, and uh, blood everywhere, all over the stall and whatnot, and. Uh, so we called the police, of course, and when the police came, she wouldn't push, uh, press charges because she was an illegal immigrant. And so you're absolutely right. I and mean, it was sad. It was heart wrenching that, that, that by that time some of our employees were in tears, and it, it's very emotional because right. that helpless feeling. And I know that that goes on all the time. It just we we need to recognize that it's there. And and so um, the, hopefully that's part of today is getting the word out for any women out there that are feeling. Uh, that, that they may not have those rights and that uh, they, they, they can't press charges. Um, there are rights, um, so thank you for bringing that up. You bet. Um, Deca Lotus is, is truly one of our, of our heart programs that we call it. Uh, from a financial standpoint, sometimes that goes down and we find, we get creative to, to how do we continue to sustain this program because we just feel that we have to provide this program. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it really is one of those programs that the organization will rally behind and one way or another we will, we will keep this program going. Uh, we have a, a, a program called CPLC Parenting Arizona, which is a, a child prevention program, um, and that one is, 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 is located really throughout the state, uh, northern Arizona, Phoenix, down in Tucson as well, so we provide the services um, to parents who need the education. Um, and and it's, uh, it's actually an excellent, it's an outstanding program. We have a, pro a program called Corazon, CPLC Corazon. Corazon is a male substance abuse program, um, very needed service, it's a shelter, um, but it's one of the ones that uh, is very difficult to find funding for. Uh, adult males, yeah, people doesn't really pull up the heartstrings too much, um, but at the reality is it's still very needed services, so uh, that's a program we've been able to sustain now for quite a few years. Um, so you can see the diversity of programs we have. If you have a need, you should contact us and we can tell you whether we have the service or not, but typically we find a way to do it. Um, our phone number is area code 602-257-0700. That should be able to access you to any one of our services that you, that, that you need. They could do a quick uh, diagnosis or an intake, if you will, to figure out what it is that uh, we, can, we can help you with. One of the nice things uh, about CPLC and having this, this diversity of services is we do what we call wraparound services. So you may come in for one specific issue, but the reality is there may be a different need that you have in the house. So we're able to assess that and say, maybe we will assess you with your most immediate need, but maybe it's, it's housing as well. You came in for social services, but you have a housing issue. Um, you have another issue, and we're able to deploy you to a number of CPLC programs. Great. To provide the services. And that number one more time? 602-257-0700. Great. Um, and also, if somebody uh, has been uh, touched by what you guys do and want to, wants to volunteer, is that the same number for them to call? Yes. Okay, very good. So we encourage anybody who would like to get involved and make a difference. Um, you may have already kind of been uh, feeling that way in, in general and now hopefully this pushes you over the edge. So give a call and see how you can uh, get involved and the, um, the, uh, giving donations of money is very helpful, probably uh, preferable in many cases, however getting uh, having volunteers getting involved can be, uh, have in many cases a higher impact than the money. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a, uh, volunteers really help us offset a lot of the costs that uh, 
sometimes we just have to take on. So if we get a, a specific skill, I mean, uh, getting some skilled volunteers, meaning to have a, a accounting skills and whatever the skill set is, we have a database now uh, with a number of, uh, event internally we say, what kind of assistance does your program need? What, how much, so what, is it a project, is it an ongoing need, et cetera. So you're able to call in and say, here's the special skills that I have, here's what I can offer the organization, here's how much I can commit in terms of time, mm -hmm. and we're able to then place you someplace within the organization. Excellent. Hopefully. That's wonderful. I, I definitely commend uh, you for that um, and the organization, and I commend you for uh, moving from a board member to actually getting on, uh, you know, completely baptized in the organization. If you don't mind, they <laughs> um, immersed is yeah. the way the word that I would uh, I would look for. But uh, uh, we will uh, be joined after the commercial break again by Max, and we're going to learn a little bit more about uh, the impact the organization has had. Um, and where it's going. So uh, don't go away, and uh, we look forward to joining you after commercial break.